I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on aromaticity. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the Dat Destroyer book. I want to go over a problem with you on aromaticity, a short bet on the Dat. We have a rule called Huckel's Rule. If a compound is to be aromatic, it must fit four criteria. It must be cyclic, planar, all the electrons must be able to delocalize over the surface, and it must be fully conjugated. And finally, it must contain a certain number of electrons, which we call a Huckel number. If a molecule has two, it's six, 10, 14, 18, or 22 pi electrons, it's got the potential to be aromatic. And that's what we call Huckel's rule. So let's come around and let's have a look at a problem that I disguised it and it makes it look difficult. But you're gonna see, if you knew the concept, it's not that hard of a problem. Would the below molecule have a significant dipole? And finally, is rotation around this bond easy? Well, when you first look at it, you're probably going to say, no, it's a double bond. And you know there's no rotation around double bonds. I wrote here that a bond connecting the rings will end up having some single bond character because of aromatic resonance structures. Let's have a look. If I was to move these electrons into this ring, you would see that this ring has six pi electrons. And this ring has two pi electrons. Now, you remember what I just said, the Huckel numbers follow the 4n plus 2 rule. So if you put in a 0 for n, you get 2. If you put in a 1, you would get 6. If you put in a 2, you get 10, and so forth. 14, 18, and after 22, it begins to break down. But as you can see, this ring has a Huckel number. This ring has a Huckel number. It is cyclic. These are planar rings, and these electrons could delocalize over the surface. That means that since both rings are aromatic, this would be a very significant resonance form. So that means if this ring is plus and this ring is minus, it would indeed have a wicked dipole. So this has a dipole, and because this has got some single bond character, the actual molecule is a combination of both contributors. Rotation would be easier than a normal double bond. So this molecule could rotate. I hope this gives you a good review and a good problem that I put in disguise on the Huckel rule and aromaticity. You'll see more questions like this that will challenge you in the Death Destroyer book. All right, good day to you.